So I'm here at the Lincoln Park Zoo and they are kicking us out. There's some sort of private event that apparently must uh, include food trucks because there's a Thai food truck. And a whole bunch of others. There it is. Food Truck Social at Lincoln Park Zoo. Hot dog theme. Empanadas. Pizza. Pizza dude. Cheesies Chicago. I don't know what that is. Cajun food. Coffee and donuts, and they're setting up a uh, stage there. And there's a man yelling at people. So that's all the zoo I'm going to have today. Good thing it's free, but at least I got to see the uh, the lions. So I was wondering why there were hordes of people leaving when I was walking up to the zoo, and um, I guess I have my answer. <laughs> The zoo is closed. So right now I'm walking around the perimeter of the zoo. And it's funny just how many um, bunnies and uh, seagulls and Canada geese that hang out around the zoo. And I would take you over to Lake Michigan because it's um, just a couple of steps away. Well, that's Lake Shore Drive and then beyond that is Lake Michigan, but it is pea soup fog which is not a rare occurrence in Chicago <laughs> So this is actually one of my favorite parts of the zoo. It's the nature boardwalk, I believe they call it. It's at the uh, south entrance of the zoo, past the petting zoo. And it's just a beautiful like nature reserve area full of birds and turtles, and things like that. Right now they've chopped down most of the natural prairie plants and things um, because it's still it's early summer. But in a month or so, this will all be filled in with wildflowers and beautiful plants. Um, this area, at least on the weekend, is very popular to take your wedding photos, as you can see. <laughs> This place is a little too popular during the weekends. It's not very peaceful, unfortunately. And it's much prettier than later in the summer when everything starts growing. So this is the lagoon where they used to do giant swan paddle boats. It was really cool. I don't think they do it anymore, even further in the summer. They've just turned it into like a upscale cafe. And that's where people have their wedding parties in that building a lot of times. Ooh, and I can see the kangaroos through the fence. <laughs> the animals probably enjoy the, the big crowds going away. You probably can't see him, but there's a kangaroo right there. There he is. Here 
is uh, the Men and Women's Comfort Station. It's been here since 1980. I'm sorry, it's been here since 1888. It was designed by Joseph Silsby, and Joseph Silsby was Frank Lloyd Wright's uh, mentor and um, boss. Isn't it cool? Oh, by the way, this cute little cottage, which I called the uh, comfort zone or comfort station. Um, that's another term for a bathroom. Lincoln Park Zoo is one of my very favorite places in all of the city of Chicago. And if you are going to visit Chicago, I highly recommend coming to see the zoo. It is free. Um, the uh, entrance, the ad admission to the zoo is free anyways. And it is surrounded by really beautiful parks that have great views of the skyline. And you are just steps away from Lake Michigan. The park is full of joggers and people with dogs. Um, and then you're in a great neighborhood too. So you can have a really nice lunch at um, outdoor cafes. And yeah, it's just a beautiful place. So when you visit Chicago, definitely Lincoln Park Zoo is my recommendation. This is the Park West Theater. It's just a, a couple of minutes walk from the Lincoln Park Zoo. It's been around for a long time, like 1908, and has had many famous acts play here. From Cyndi Lauper to Tina Turner to U2 and Grace Jones. I've seen a couple of cool shows here. A little sad to see one of my favorite uh, brunch places go out of business little place on the corner it's called Stanley's and uh, they had some of the best well they had a buffet for brunch and they had some of the best fried chicken and waffle boats and Bloody Mary's that were like half a gallon so I never lived in this area it's a little too fancy for me especially when I was in my 20s um, but I spent a lot of time down here we well I worked not too far from here and um, also, there's a really great theater here that plays um, like foreign films and artsy films and uh, a lot of great restaurants and of course the zoo. So I spent a lot of time around here. 